Yo, what's poppin' play boys? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys can hear me well. I've been trying to figure out this like GoPro GoPro audio, and it's been killing me lately. In today's video, man, I wanted to talk about why you should get a Knife Gen SI. If you're planning on getting one, of course. If you're not planning on getting one, you don't have to watch this video. But this is for the people who want one and really want to like have that confirmation, like yes, bro, this is why I want it. So here we go. So the reason why I say the 9th Gen SI is probably like one of the best bang for the buck cars you can get, unless you get like an 8th Gen of course, it's because like the motor is easy to mod, it might it might be a pain in the butt to do, but like compared to other people's mods, it's really not that bad bro. Also the mods are very cheap, a turbo kit could cost you $4,000, $3,000 used, and also CX Racing have their own turbo kit that's like under two thousand dollars that you could throw on and i would recommend for you to do is just to upgrade your turbo wow. and uh your wastegate and your blow off valve stuff like that but like literally the cost of modding this car is literally nothing like i said in multiple videos i spent less than a two thousand dollars modding this car well engine wise i'm not talking about like exterior and coilovers wheels i ain't talking about all that stuff ships gone blah 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 I'm talking about engine mods. Literally spent less than two thousand dollars. I spent like a thousand two hundred dollars just doing it, just doing regular mods, regular football time mods. And I, I'm not, I can't complain. Like I love this car. I drive it every day. It gives me no type of issues. Not once I had a had to like go to the mechanic or had to figure out some, what what broke and why it broke. Not once. This car has over fifty thousand miles. And I guess it's also because I do maintain my car to the best of my abilities. I do oil changes. I do spark plug changes. I do a serpent. I have to do my belt actually, my serpentine belt. I have to do that. So if you guys want a video on that, definitely be on the lookout because I definitely have to do that. But yeah, bro, no problem. Perfect car, perfect daily. Gas mileage is great. Even though I'm tuned, gas mileage is still freaking excellent. Like, let's see, what am I averaging right now? Bro, where is it? Did I just pass it? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Madama. No. Oh, man, I'm failing. I am failing. What am I doing? So, as you guys can see right now, my current drive, I'm averaging 33 miles per gallon. Previous drive was 21. That's because I was hitting it on the highway because you know it's late at night. Felt like doing a couple pulls, but yeah, gas mileage is still amazing for a car that's tuned. I do pump 93, so if you guys are wondering, like, oh, can I pump 87? You can, but I would, I want to like recommend it. Uh, 93 is what's recommended for this car. You could pump 87, but then you know your timing and stuff like that increases. I'm over here breaking next. Keep driving, playboy. But yeah, also another thing I love about this car is like the shifter, like the transmission is buttery smooth, bro. And it's so crispy getting into gears. I don't know if you ever drove like an old car and like the gears are so far apart. Everything on, in the Honda transmissions, from what, from what I experienced, is very close to each other. Another thing that a lot of people love about the knife gens is the, the way they look. Like, I'm sorry, but I feel like knife gens are probably the best looking Civic. I feel like it's knife gen, 10th gen, then 8th gen. I might be wrong, that's my opinion, but I feel like the 10th gen's front look, actually no, it, it's knife gen, 8th gen, 10th gen, I'm sorry. I, I was just thinking about the 10th gen front. I was thinking about the off, like the whole body and stuff. The body of the 10th gen is ugly, I'm sorry. But the, the face of the 10th gen, aggressive as hell. Simple like exterior mods that you put on the knife jam makes the car look so aggressive. Like a front lip, a regular front lip makes this car look so aggressive. You lower it on stock rims, it looks so nice. Like, like, bro, I, I don't know. It just looks so good. Eighth gen stock rims are ugly. I don't care what anybody say they're ugly. Tenth gen stock rims are nice, but they ain't nice. I'm sorry. Plus, if you're in the market and looking for a ninth gen SI, they're actually falling in price. Only like the nice, real, real clean ones with like low, low mileage are still up in that that price range, like 16, 16 to like.
like 18,000. But if you get one with like 70,000 miles, 80,000 miles, you can find one with, you can find one with uh, like 70,000 miles, 8,000 miles for like 13,000, 12,000, 10,000, which is not bad, bro. It's not bad. Plus the interior of this car is better than the 10th gen, 8th gen, I don't care. It's just, the interior of the car is crazy nice. And little subtle things that you add, like a, uh, like the steering wheel, like bumps this up like 10 points. Um, the dash is so nice, it got carbon fiber on the dash. Uh, you doing stuff to your shifter, like I did, makes it look way better. It's just simple things, bro. The speakers in this car is great. For stock subs, stock speakers, it booms, boy. It's, it gets loud in here. You can always upgrade if you wanted to, but I didn't see the purpose of doing that. I love the way this, love the way the car sounds. Also, in the ninth gens, they come with K24s. So you get that little extra torque when you be stepping on it. I don't know if you guys ever drove like an eighth gen SI, but you guys know that those things don't have no torque. They just have a lot of top end. But when you pair an RBC up with a ninth gen, you get you get the best of both roads. You get low to mid to top. Instead of just having low to a little bit of mid and no top. Pause. So I know there's gonna be a couple butt hurt people in the comments saying like, bro, you're saying the ninth gen's better than the eighth gen? No, bro, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like body wise, interior wise, and the engine can be better than the eighth gen. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a K20, K24, ninth gen, but those things move, bro, and they make power. So if you guys are in the market for a ninth gen SI, bro, I say go get one. Go test it out, go drive it. Drive an 8th gen if you can find a clean one. Drive a 10th gen if you like a 10th gen. And you guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Would you rather have an 8th gen, 9th gen, or 10th gen? Obviously, I'm picking 9th gen all day, every day. Sound good. They're twerky. And it looks so damn good. Yeah, man, this is my man off the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow your boy Instagram, underscore got the soda.